the loop impedance tester it's actually quite an amazing piece of machine just to check your uh, resistance in your power points between the phase and the neutral and the sweet core lead in a normal NZ uh, plug I'm going to test a few power points and I was quite surprised ok I'll we'll stick this one this in the kitchen test 0 0.6 ohms 392 ampere that's not a power point Ohms. Here's a typical scenario, a multi-box six-way plugged into another six-way behind a computer desk and then that lead goes into, into here somewhere of oh, these plugs. Let's see what we get here for reading. One point three nine ohms. That's more than one ohm. One hundred sixty-eight amps only available. My famous YouTube PowerPoint. Now look at what the uh, loop impedance is on this thing. And the reading. Get this showing out. Zero point four eight. So four ninety amps. I could get out of this particular power point which is fed from uh, these 20 amp uh, circuit breakers so sitting on the subboard these are fed from a 63 amp supply Hi folks the whole idea is loop testing is uh, you want to have a low resistance pass so the, if a fault occurs on a particular circuit fuse can operate quickly and clear the fault. If you have like a 5 or 6 ohm resistance in a 240 volt circuit you end up with 40 amps which can heat up cables and doesn't have to operate a say 20 amp circuit breaker straight away. So ideally uh, the fault or the loop impedance should be less than uh, 1 ohm or ideally even less than 0 0.5 ohms. Um, the interesting thing is what I was surprised with to the 6-way into the 6-way into a power point by the computer yielded a result of about 1.4 ohms which is not good. So you can see poor connections or multiple prongs. Uh, you get high resistance. The available uh, current reduces of course. So uh, yeah. That's about it I suppose. Have a lovely day guys.